Welcome to Raspberry Pi Pico Smart Car Course by RoboJax. My name is Ahmed Shamshiri and I will be your instructor for this course. This course is based on Sun Founders Raspberry Pi Pico four wheel drive car kit. Beside this 10 lesson course, the kit has full documentations, step-by-step -step instructions, wiring diagrams, Python codes, and example projects available for download. The car can be controlled using mobile app for mobile or tablet where you can control the car fully forward, backward, turn right, turn left, and also you can turn on and off the light, you can set the power of the motors, you can see the speed in meter per second. You can see the radar obstacle avoidance data where the obstacle is. Also, you can see the line tracking or a halo deep sensor data. It can track a line or follow the line. It has cliff detector and it can follow your hand and it can avoid obstacle and drive. The kit is available for purchase on SunFounder and major online stores. The link to purchase the kit is below this video. Welcome to SunFounder Raspberry Pi Pico MicroPython Smart Car Course. This is a Raspberry Pi four wheel drive smart car kit by SunFounder. The microcontroller is based on Raspberry Pi Pico and it has obstacle avoidance. You can program it using MicroPython it has cliff detection, it has feature of line tracking, and it is all-wheel drive. It has app wireless control, so you can have fun with this. It has RGB lights at the bottom and at the back. In this course, we have 10 lessons. The first lesson will be introduction to the course and kit. We are going to explain all the features. The lesson number two will be installing software and 10 basic Python lessons so you can get ready using your smart car kit. Lesson three will be, uh, we will be talking about components function and tests. Lesson four is assembling smart car kit. In lesson five, we will learn how to move the smart car forward and backward and motor tests. Lesson six, we have a feature called don't push me of the cliff. When you push it over the cliff, it, it detects the depth and backs up and shakes the head. Lesson seven is line tracking, where we will put the car on the line so it will track the line. Lesson eight will be follow hand, where you put your hand in front of the car, move it to the left or right, it follows your hand. Lesson nine will be combining so many features all together and it will be obstacle avoidance where the car will measure the distance when it approaches to an obstacle and then surveys left and right and finds the empty spot and proceeds forward. In lesson 10, we're going to use the app to control it using tablet or your, our mobile device wirelessly. And here is the package. This is how you will receive it. Let's see what we have inside this. The list of components.
and very nicely done assembly diagram step by step this is amazing so we have two boxes one and then two open this one So this is the actual micro python piece micro usb cables servo motor with strap and some pieces screwdriver this is 18650 battery case hardware the main other board this is the bottom piece of the car let's see what we have here four wheels four dc motors three channel gray scale sensor line sensor this is a two channel photo interrupter this is 8 bit rgb light another piece another piece so three of the same thing and this is a ultrasonic sensor hcsr04 this is the official sony website this IDE or integrated development environment is offered for Windows, Mac or Linux. The version at the moment is 4.0.2. Just click and select this the first option and then click and open it. For all users, so I'm uninstalling it. Welcome to Sony. Let's go next. We have no choice but to accept the term. And this is the address. Just click next, next, and don't worry about anything. If you want the sh desktop shortcut, check that and install. This is the Raspberry Pi Pico microcontroller. We have micro USB connector here where you can connect it to your computer and then download the code to it. And when you're connecting it, there is a push button for boot, for boot select. So you press it, I'm gonna show you. And all the pens, all these pens are available so you can program them or connect them to something and do something. And job of each pen is labeled here but once we use it for every purpose so these are the normal pens with a voltage or just ground some of them like when it says g and d and then the rest have been labeled in the documentation and we can program them for certain purpose we can set a pen to be input or it can be an output some of the pen can do certain tasks than the other cannot do for example some of them are pulse width modulation enabled some of them are analog to digital converter some of them can be used only for certain input uh, purpose the three pin that are here these are for debugging and have a look at the components under the magnifier this is the raspberry pi chip And here are the pinouts for the Raspberry Pi Pico. The color has some explanation here. Everywhere you see black, that's for ground, and then the UART communication is uh, purple, and then 
GPIO pins and parcel modulations are all green. Analog to digital converter is dark green, like this here. And then SPI communication is dark red or this, co this color. These are I square C communication. You can see all these pins can be assigned to I square C or I to C. And then these pink or debugging for system control and debugging. Also, I've selected to have this TH, the Sony uh, icon here on the desktop. Let's double click and open it. Select your preferred language. As you can see, this is available in all these languages. Standard or Raspberry Pi. Let's go to uh, select Raspberry Pi and then open it. So this is the main uh, interface. Also, we can switch back to regular mode. Select it. If you double click and open it, now this is in regular mode. We simple mode. Now, how to switch it back to uh, normal mode? Let's go to tools, options, under the, this general user mode regular, and you can select simple. So there is three mode: expert and simple. Simple is used for uh, Raspberry Pi. If I click OK, close, and reopen it again. This is now for Raspberry Pi mode that we are using. Now I'm on the main page. If you go to get started, click on this line, number three. We have to download the code here. Right click, save link as, or save target as, whichever comes. I'm going to save it in downloads. Now let's go to the folder. This is our code, right click and select extract all. This is the folder, this is the zip file. So this is inside the download, this is the folder and inside this folder we have another folder. So I don't want to go too deep, right click, select cut, come to download and then paste it. Now we have only one folder and inside this we have codes. These are the files that we have. Now let me connect it to a micro USB. Press this button and hold it and then connect it. Now we will see that it shows as a drive. If I open my file explorer here, this is going to install ours. Make sure that you see it, PRI RP2. As you can see, it shows 127 megabytes free. Inside the download, we have the zip file. If you check here and see under the type, you see it says compressed zip folder. And this one shows file folder. So keep in mind that this is our zip. But I will prefer to show you the file extension. So go to start menu and type file and you will see file, file explorer option. Click on that and on this screen click on view. In here it says height extension for known file type. It says height, so, so uncheck it so we can see it. Now pay attention, this we will see zip here. Now this is the exe file, this is zip file. So this way we know better our files. Now let's install MicroPython. On the right corner, click here, install MicroPython, and you will see this screen. Raspberry Pi Pico is the one that we are selecting. The version that is there is okay. Just select and install. 
Now this is already connected, so I'm clicking install. As you can see, it says copying. It's moving it in the folder and rebooting and done. Done and close. Let's switch back to regular mode and close it. Let's open it, open it again because we need these menus. Now we are going to open this file examples. This is the folder that we have extracted from the zip file. If I double click and open it, you see all these files. Inside the library, we have these three files. One is pico4wd.py, picorgp.py, and ws.py.py. So this is the path which is inside the download. You have to make sure that you understand where it is. Click on view files. So when I select it, it shows everything here. Now go to the folder that you have downloaded, double click and then double click this one. And as you can see library and I see three files, let's select and all of them come here at the bottom on the right side. And then you will select Raspberry Pi Pico with some COM port, mine shows 12, yours might be different. So I'm selecting it. And these are the files that is that are on the Pico. Now right click and upload to, to the root. So this forward slash means root. Now the file will be copied and it, it is shown here. You can see them. Now let's see what happens if I disconnect it. Pay attention to this area and also pay attention I disconnected so the file disappeared and this Pico that shows was just fake now it's gone so if I connect it again if you want to see it will not show your files so click here and select the one that says Raspberry Pi Pico and you will see that the file will be displayed Now let's make this LED on board LED blank so we know that we can control this device and everything is okay. This is the code and on this screen let's click file save and we select this computer and name it. Let's go to download and name it blank.py. It's very important to have pi and click save. Now you see the name blank.py. It says from machine, import pen, anything that because we are working with pen and then timer. And this line, it, we are defining a, a pen called LED. And we use this syntax. We say pen and then the pen number, so pen 25. And here we say pen dot out. This is defining the pen as an output. And then we are using this timer here from the timer method. We create our own object timer. And this is our a custom method called blink and we pass this timer object and it gets that pen LED dot toggle it just turns it on and off whenever we call this now in this line we use the timer object dot initiate so we are initializing it and here we say frequency two and a half this two and a half means two and a half times in a second if you put one it will be one we are going to test it and mode means Timer dot periodic. So this makes it blank periodically. Just run it and call back blank. This blank refers to this blank. So this line comes and run this periodic with frequency of two and a half. Now the board is ready. Just click on this button here. The code will be uploaded and the board will start blinking. Now let's make it one. Now let's make it one and then just click. The file will be saved and now this is blinking once every second. Let me turn off the light. And let's make it three. Uh, let's make it five and click. It's very quick. And how about 10? Can we see 10 times blank? 
Yes. So that is 10 time blinking, which is the frame rate for uh, movies, for film. Let's go 24, we can see, and after that we cannot see, they say. So that is 24. Let's go 30. That's fun. Hmm, we can see it. 40. Still. Oh, you cannot see it. The camera cannot see it, but I can see it myself. Sorry. So this is 24, we can see it. Let's go 30. As you can see, it's, you cannot see it properly, but with my eyes, I can see it better. On the camera, it doesn't show. 40. Now this is 40. It's not blinking on screen very little, but I can see it's blinking when I look at it. 50. Almost not blinking. That is the frequency of the light blinking uh, in European countries, in US and Canada and Mexico. It is 60. Let's go 60. So now it almost stopped, so you cannot see it, but with my eyes I can see very small blink. Congratulations. So that was our simple first project, which worked. Now, because the program is running here, you can stop it at any time say stop and it will be stopped thank you for watching a raspberry pi pico lesson from robojax please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thumb up the video you can wait a few seconds the next lesson will start automatically or click on the link to proceed now